I've recently returned from Dubrovnik, the biggest attraction on the amazing Croatian coast, and I was surprised. Hi, I'm Rock, and as a tour guide, I've been in Dubrovnik many times, and it was always an expensive destination. But now, things have changed. I'll show you how expensive is Dubrovnik and why it is probably cheaper than you think. To better understand Dubrovnik prices, we'll do first a quick overview of Dubrovnik. Then I will show you prices of accommodation, transport prices, admissions and restaurant prices. In the end, we'll look how expensive Dubrovnik is on a scale from 1 to 10. But before we dive in, please tap the like button for YouTube algorithm. It takes just a split second and it helps me a lot. Thanks for the like and now let's find out why Dubrovnik is a bargain luxury destination. Dubrovnik is a small town on Croatian coast with only 45,000 inhabitants and one of the most prominent tourist destinations in Mediterranean. It has an amazing history, well-preserved medieval old town and world-famous medieval defensive walls. Between the 14th and the 19th century, Dubrovnik was an independent republic that became famous for its wealth and skilled diplomacy. Dubrovnik lost its independence in 1808 when it was occupied by French Emperor Napoleon. After the fall of Napoleon, Dubrovnik became part of Austrian Empire until the end of the First World War. Then it became part of newly created country of Yugoslavia until, in 1991, Croatia declared independence and war on the Balkans started. Dubrovnik was besieged by Yugoslav People's Army for seven months. After repairs and restoration works in the 1990s, Dubrovnik re-emerged as one of Mediterranean's top tourist destinations as well as a popular filming location. Despite its small size, Dubrovnik was attracting more and more visitors. After becoming Game of Thrones filming location, more and more cruise ships stopped in Dubrovnik. In recent years, over-tourism was driving prices in Dubrovnik higher and higher, and in 2019, the town reached a record of 1.5 million tourists with 4.5 million overnights. But in 2020, with global pandemic, the number of visitors has dramatically decreased and most prices have changed. What didn't change is the local currency. Despite Croatia being part of the EU, they are still using their old currency called Croatian Kuna. When paying in cash, you will need local currency. For 1 euro, you get 7.6 Kuna, and for 1 US dollar, you get about 6.5 Kuna. For single travelers, youth hostel is the most economical option, as single bed in mixed dorm room is between 30 and 40 euro. The only campsite in Dubrovnik is about 6 kilometers from the old town and it offers mobile homes and large pitch grounds. Basic studio mobile home for two adults is around 100 euros per night. Pitches are a bit more economic, starting from around 60 euro per night and they offer electricity and water for camper vans. If you're looking for a hotel room for two people, a three-star hotel room will cost between 150 and 200 euro, while a four-star hotel will be between 200 and 300 euro. Private accommodation remains very popular as Dubrovnik has a long tradition in hosting tourists in private homes. This type of accommodation has a lot of competition and is also the most flexible. Prices of private accommodations have dropped dramatically from pre-pandemic times. A decent apartment in the high season in the historic town or its proximity will cost only from 60 to 120 euro. If you are flexible enough and you don't care about location, you can also find deals going as low as 40 euro. In this new post-pandemic world, private accommodation in Dubrovnik is by far the best value for money. If you arrive in Dubrovnik by plane, airport bus shuttle is the cheapest option to get to the city center that will cost you 55 kuna or 7.5 euro. The cost of a taxi is 270 kuna or 38 euro. 
public transport system is limited to buses. Tickets are available at newspaper stands, main bus terminal, some bus stops and at hotel front desks. This ticket will cost you 12 kuna or 1.6 euro. You can also buy a ticket on the bus, but that will cost you 15 kuna or 2 euro. After entering the bus, ticket must be validated and it remains valid in all directions for 60 minutes. There are also daily bus tickets that are valid for 24 hours after validation and they cost 30 kuna or 4 euro. Many people choose to purchase Dubrovnik Kart, a special entry ticket to 9 attractions that also includes daily bus ticket. Taxis and Uber are commonly used in Dubrovnik. In some cases, Uber is the cheapest means of transportation. If three people share an Uber, it's usually cheaper than three bus tickets, but it all depends on your exact location. Taxis are the most expensive. There is an official Dubrovnik taxi price list and taxis use taxi meter. Typical taxi ride from Lapat area with many hotels to Pile entrance to the old town should be around 90 kuna or 12 euro. The same ride to the second gate called Ploche should be around 110 kuna or 14.5 euro. At both gates there is a taxi station where you can find the official taxi price list with the name of hotels and taxi fares. After lockdown, admission prices dropped like crazy and some galleries and museums even offered free entry. Unfortunately, prices soon returned to normal expensive levels, but there is still an option to make expensive entrances a bit more reasonable. If you buy a Dubrovnik card, it includes entry to many museums, galleries and top attractions and makes it a good value. Dubrovnik card also includes the most expensive attractions, walls of Dubrovnik and also includes daily bus tickets. There are three types of card available. One day that costs 225 kuna, three day card for 300 kuna and seven day card for 350 kuna. If you buy them online, you will save extra 10%. Ticket to walk Dubrovnik wall costs 200 kunas. But thanks to the slow season because of COVID-19, my ticket was just 50 kuna. Admission for the fort is already part of the Dubrovnik wall ticket. If you want to see the fort alone, the ticket costs 50 kuna. Ticket to see the Franciscan monastery costs 40 kuna. Dubrovnik cable car costs 100 kuna or 13.2 euro for round trip and 60 kuna or 7.9 euro for one way. The good news is you can get to the top of the mountain for free if you hike uphill or if you go by car as there is an asphalt road leading to the top. Entrance to Napoleon's fort where you'll find this interesting museum of Croatian war for independence costs 30 kuna. Prices of real estate and rent inside the town walls are extremely high and as a result restaurants inside the old town are not cheap. This doesn't mean that restaurants there aren't good as you can still find plenty of good value places with great food. After the lockdown, restaurants reduce their prices by offering various discounts ranging from 20 to 30 percent. Most restaurants offer fresh and local high-quality seafood and fish that is generally a bit more expensive. A three-course meal without drinks in nice, charming restaurant in the old town will be around 400 kuna or 52 euro per person. If you go for popular fish plates for two, they range between 450 and 700 kuna. Restaurants outside the town walls usually offer better value for money and their prices are a bit lower. But despite all discounts, cheap beer is still impossible to find as it costs from 35 to 45 kuna. If you want to learn more about typical food and cuisine in Dubrovnik, you can check my video in the top corner. Dubrovnik was an expensive destination that got more and more expensive each year. Because it heavily relies on tourism, pandemic made a huge impact on the local economy. Most services like accommodation, 
restaurants, tours and boat trips lower their prices and Dubrovnik has become much more affordable. Hotel prices are reasonable and some private accommodations can be very cheap. Some admissions have been briefly reduced, but despite returning to their normal expensive levels, Dubrovnik card helps visitors to make admissions more affordable. Restaurants are now a bit less expensive, but still not cheap. Transport remains more or less as it was, with expensive taxis and affordable Uber, while Dubrovnik card gives you free bus ride. On the scale from 1 to 10, where 1 means crazy cheap and 10 means crazy expensive, I would give Dubrovnik a 6 meaning it's not too bad. But when you consider prices before the pandemic and the fact that Dubrovnik is among top destinations in the world, it becomes a bargain. After the pandemic, Dubrovnik has become a luxury destination with no crowds for bargaining prices. If you ever considered visiting Dubrovnik, you should do it before cruise ships and over tourism pump up prices again. If you like this video, give it thumbs up! If you have any questions, ideas, suggestions or even your own experience about Dubrovnik, please share it in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you'll be notified every time I post a new travel video. Thanks for watching and see you next time!